why suddenly eliminate this language in some of these contracts, but not others? Who was it who asked you to, to do this? And why did you include the language in some contracts and, and not others? So I think some of the confusion is that in, in our far base contracts, it is in there. Some of the documents that were requested by the group that asked for them under FOIA, Freedom of Information Act, were other transactional agreements, which are outside of the um, FAR. And also to remember that these are research and development contracts. We are not acquiring product under these contracts. Well, recognize, too, that it's research and development being funded by the American people with a vast potential for profit for the companies. So the American people have a, a stake in fair pricing. I think uh, the American people are, are aware that they are gouged on drugs routinely, that we pay more than citizens in any other developed country. Eighty percent of Americans routinely respond they want fair pricing, that they shouldn't be charged more than the citizens of other countries, especially because we spend more in the development of the products. And I think that plays double here. The reason I'm emphasizing this is we're going to spend billions of dollars in this development. And we should absolutely use that investment to make sure that we're not gouged on the on the back end. And so I just want to say that this conversation that Murray initiated and I'm following up on here is an important one. And I hope you're going to take full and thoughtful consideration of how, how to make sure that Americans do not pay more for these drugs uh, through the government uh, payments or through citizens having to pay for them than do the citizens of any other developed country. In fact, uh, I hope you'll pledge to make sure that that's the case. Thank you, Senator Merkley. If you want to come back for a second round, you can. Senator Capito. Uh, 